bathroom access, should it be based on someone's biological gender, male versus female, or someone's gender identity, how they identify themselves as male versus female? It's a heated debate that began with public restrooms, but will likely soon become a debate about private restrooms as well. And it's a legal issue employers need to know about. Recently, the Michigan Department of Education proposed guidance for school districts to better accommodate LGBT students in bathrooms and locker rooms. They're following in the footsteps of California and New York City, where public entities have started to guarantee access to bathrooms based on an individual's gender identity. Some Michigan lawmakers are fighting the Department of Education on this issue. Their objections are similar to objections raised in North Carolina. Initially, the city of Charlotte passed an ordinance recognizing rights based on gender identity. In response, the North Carolina State Legislature and Governor rushed through a law stopping people from using public bathrooms that do not correspond to their biological sex. In essence, the state law replaced and negated Charlotte's ordinance. This has resulted in some businesses refusing to do business in North Carolina. It has also led to entertainers refusing to perform there. Most notably, Bruce Springsteen, who canceled a concert scheduled in North Carolina this month. Companies like PayPal, Google, Citibank, have all denounced the North Carolina state law as anti-LGBT and bad for business. It's only a matter of time before this becomes an issue for private employers. In fact, the United States Office of Federal Contract Compliance already requires federal contractors to allow transgender workers to use bathrooms that correspond to their gender identity. And just last summer, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration provided guidance to private employers about best practices on bathroom access which is based on someone's gender identity. So what does this mean for employers? Employers need to think about bathroom access and have policies in place before any issues occur. So then, there's the latest concerning transgender employees, bathroom access, and the law.